I just hope you guys it's buff off here. And today we got another Impazoi video, and I'm gonna give you guys the best tips ever. And guys, I'm not even kidding when I say this. After I give you these settings here, you're not gonna be able to stop doing triple heads. Like, you can't even stop doing them. There's literally no Impazoi. You can't not do triple heads. But let's get right into these amazing settings, guys. So the obvious settings, I'm gonna go through the 491s right here. Window mode, you want on full screen, so it's obviously taking up your whole monitor, so there's gonna be no screen tearing and less Impazoi. Okay guys, for a frame rate limit, you want to have this a little bit higher than your monitor's refresh rate because these will have your game feel a lot better, but also it won't be overperforming computer by having it at unlimited FPS because your computer's trying to run 500 FPS on the game and you can't even see 300 of those frames, so why have it that high when you can have it just a little bit over your hertz and it'll feel a lot better. So this one you could work out with putting it to maybe like 85% and having your game still pretty good but getting a lot more performance in frames. You could try this out, see how it feels. Okay, so for textures now, this one's actually personal experience and preference because depending on how your computer is built and the parts of it, low textures might make your game run smoother or high textures. Second tab will make it run smoother and better than low. It just, it's just weird, but change it up and you gotta try it out. For me, personally, I think my game feels a lot better on low. And I do play on performance mode, but I have my meshes on high, so my game still looks pretty good. And I have a lot more performance than normal DX11. Now guys, in here, there's some amazing things that I'm sure none of you even heard of or knew about. So I'm gonna give you them right here. These are actually gonna make a huge difference. You can try it out right now. Okay, so the first setting is having your replays off. Having these off are basically making your game not record its own gameplay. So it's gonna make it a lot smoother. And on this tab, if you're a keyboard and mouse player, lock input method as mouse, have this on. Because if you have USBs, your computer's gonna try to read that it's if it's a controller plugged in or something else. So it's just gonna add some input delay trying to read USBs. But if you have it locked as mouse, it knows that USB, this one for your actual mouse, is going to be used for that. So it's just not going to waste time basically with other USBs that are put into your computer. It's going to save a lot of performance. Now I know these things here are controller settings, but they do help out with overall game input delay. These help a lot. Try them out. I'm not even kidding. I was able to do quintuple edits like nonstop. It's so crazy. Okay, so this first one, it just changes back and forth between updates. But recently, once I have my edit hold time all the way down to the minimal, it helped input delay a lot. But also like three months ago when I had it at max, it made it even better too. But after this recent update, you put it back down, it feels a lot better. It just changed between updates, four nights like that. And then at the bottom, make sure you have enable FIFA controller, have this off and have both percents at one. This will increase your input delay to the roof. Okay, so this one's the most underrated one yet. Having your sound quality on low will make your game sound so much better, my personal preference, and it will save you a lot of performance. Now last settings, even if you're a controller player or keyboard or mouse player, these help with overall game input delay. Going to your controller binds and making one of your edit binds to switch mode slash edit will make your game a lot better. Even if you're on controller and you don't want to mess up your binds, go to one of your D-pad binds they do not use and make it switch mode slash edit, but also edit and use switch mode for your normal binds. That's what it will make your input delay a lot better. It's going to feel like you're on zero ping when you're on 30 ping. Okay guys, so now we're going to go on to your actual computer tips that will help your game and computer run a lot smoother. So first one is obviously tabbing out and going to the bottom right to where you could go to your mini apps. And make sure you close Epic Games Launcher and other stuff that you don't need to open. Example, Google Chrome, don't need to open, so I'm going to close it out. And then also I'm going to go to OB, I mean not OBS, Epic Games and close that out also because I really do not need it open. Okay, so now for NVIDIA control panel settings, these are actually going to make your computer be so smooth. Okay, so going to go to your Manage 3D Settings tab, and this image sharpening, you can have this off, but I like my game looking really sharp, so I turn this to these things, you copy these, it'll make your game feel a little bit good, but if you want the overall best performance, make sure you turn this off right here. And just make sure you're copying all these things right here, so off, everything is on the correct settings. Now for low latency mode, actually in here you want this off, it'll make your computer run a little bit slower along with your game, and then this will mess up your gameplay and your gameplay optimizations in-game. Now for monitor technology, I have a G-Sync compatible monitor, so make sure you don't have this as that if you don't if you don't even have it, but have it as a normal with fixed refresh or like a uh, normal whatever it says if you don't have a G-Sync monitor. Now the rest is pretty self-explanatory, you want this on perform maximum performance, highest available for this refresh rate. Now for texture filtering quality, you actually want to have this on high performance because when I have it on quality or high quality as other people say that you should have it on, my I've been getting stutters and game freezes. I personally don't like it, but if your computer does have problems on high performance, then put it back to quality. Like I said, everyone's computer is built different, but for the most part, these settings should work and they helped mine go from 400 FPS to 700. Okay, so those are all the settings right there. So now I'm gonna go into these rest settings for my computer that will make your game be elite. Okay guys, so for this next one, you just wanna go to your command prompt, type in CMD, it'll come up right away. And then I'm gonna have this on the screen and in the description, you could just copy and paste it or type it in and type it right in there into command prompt and hit enter and then close it out. 
and then go to your power management settings. By that, type in control panel, go to power options, and then ultimate performance comes up. Have that as your power plan, and it'll increase your frames by at least like 50. Now guys, I have a secret setting for you controller players out there. I used to be a controller player, and I used to use this, and this setting is godly. Hey guys, when I was a controller player, I used to use this software, and it is insane. Take a look. So you go to your A button and any button you want. You could go to turbo, turn on, hit advance, go to turbo, and you can have it on the lowest possible delay possible. It's so good for delay. It helps with literally any editing in the game. Literally do it for any button too, even your start button. You can have that on turbo and have it to no input delay. It, the automatic is 0.1, we can change it to 0.02. So you guys can play around with the software, you can draw players and have literally no input delay possible. This is so good and it's not even bannable. Faceway uses this, I used to use it and I don't even use it anymore because I'm a keyboard mouse player now. But it's so good and it helped me so much. And also guys, this is ISLC software. Download this, I'll have it in the description. This is gonna help your input delay a crazy amount. And also every like few hours hit per standby list, it basically resets it and it'll help your input delay a lot. Make sure you have this bottom setting to uh, as many, you know, how much RAM you have. My, I have two six of RAM, eight gigab I mean 16 gigabytes, so I have it as 16,000 megabytes with 16 gigabytes. And you want to make sure this current time resolution is the, almost the same or is the same as your maximum right here and have this higher and have this to, you know, you want, whenever you want to stop it, hit stop if you can change everything. And this one, like, so you want to play around with two by your computer parts. But me personally, once I have this ISLC, ISLC polling rate to 250, my input delay felt like it was, you know, not even there anymore. So uh, this helped me a lot. Or you could do timer resolution. I'll put that in the description too. That helps out a lot too. Try them both out. Let me know what you think, but they help a lot. I'm not even kidding. And the last few tips I have for you guys is making sure you have everything wired. Unless it's like a G Pro wireless mouse or some, you know, keyboard and mouses that are good wireless. Otherwise, just get wired stuff, guys. It's a straight connection to your computer and also an ethernet cable for your internet. Straight connection to your Wi-Fi. It's not through the house wireless internet. It'll help your ping a lot. And uh, certainly, since it's wire, straight no input delay. There's gonna be none. You'll feel your, you know, you feel like you're editing on them. Like I said, it's insane. You gotta try it out, guys. Hopefully, these videos helped you, and hopefully, these tips helped you. Make sure you guys let me know about them in the comments. And any questions, ask me. I I answer to all of them. And yeah, hope to see you guys soon. See you next video. Peace out.